What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Sorry I haven't been posting in a long time. Um, I've just been very busy with getting school stuff ready and I've been trying to improve the quality of this channel a lot. Um, as you guys may be able to tell, the audio was a lot better. Um, I got a actual microphone this time, so I'm hoping that it sounds really good throughout these videos. And yeah, so hopefully I can get a capture card as well. Um, I've been working on that, so hopefully everything works with that. So we do have one more level left in this world. It's the Toasty boss fight, and then we're on to the next world. So let's go ahead and do it. Alrighty guys, so here we are in the toasty world. Uh, this is the boss fight of this level actually. So the hardest part for me is these daggone freaking dogs. Like, um, they go like super fast when they jump and stuff and it's hard to avoid them. So hopefully we can do a good job. Uh, also letting you guys know just a couple other channel updates. Um, like I said, I am working on getting an actual capture card. Uh, that means I will be able to live stream like an actual YouTuber, uh, like the crappy PS4 live stream. Um, so hopefully that'll change everything and the videos will improve in quality and everything from that. And um, also, there was one other thing I wanted to mention. Um, like I said, I got this microphone. Uh, this is the Toner TC777 microphone. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just wanted to point that out. It was only like 40 bucks and I think it sounds great. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this new microphone. And uh, yeah, so like I said, um, those dogs are very hard to avoid. And uh, oh, I remember what I wanted to say now. Um, I've been working on some new projects for this channel uh, while I've been taking a little bit of a break. And there's a couple videos I want to put out and they really require a lot of editing and everything so I've been trying to learn some brand new editing skills and tactics and techniques and everything to learn uh, so I can make those videos um, hopefully when those videos come out you guys will enjoy those I'm trying to figure out how to edit more like I said and trying to figure out how to incorporate more humor and entertainment value within these videos so they're a bit more watchable and enjoyable to watch but hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos as of now, or as of how they are now. So, uh, talking about the game again, um, we're gonna head over back here to this small little, like really neat, like little corner area, and we're gonna get these gems back here. And uh, the last thing we have left of this level is the, I believe the boss fight, which is actually toasty. But the first thing we're gonna do is rescue this dragon right over here. Which, uh, let's see who that is. That's Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. There we go. So all dragons have been found. Now we're going to move on to the actual Toasty boss fight. So, what's cool about him is he reminds me of, like, Scarecrow from, like, uh, like DC Comics and stuff. Just the way he looks and stuff, I think he looks really cool. The only annoying part is these freaking dogs. They're annoying. But, uh, as I was saying before about uh, editing videos and all that, um, there's plenty of techniques that I've been trying to work on for the channel. Like I said, just to make everything funnier and uh, trying to make everything more entertaining. So hopefully you guys will like those videos when those come out. It'll be a while. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out how everything works. I'm still trying to work on getting a capture card and everything. So yeah. So there we go. There is the last hit for Toasty. And we have the option to go ahead and return home now. So I believe, yep, 96 out of 100 and one dragon. Uh, we're going to get these last few chests. And yep, there it is. 100% level complete. So we are going to return home. So there we are, we're now home, and uh, we have the whole world complete, as you can see, uh, based off of the guidebook. So now we can go ahead and go to the Balloonist, which I believe is in some area, uh, after we feed Sparks, of course. 
and go to the balloonist and go ahead and head to the next round, which I believe from when I 100%ed the game last time um, as the Peacekeeper's World, and I, I made a wrong turn there. So, yeah, let's go over there. Uh, also, just letting you guys know, too, that I did make a separate save file for these games, and I go went ahead and 100%ed all the games and everything, so... So there we go. We're gonna peace going to go to peacekeepers. Um, sorry, I kind of cut out there. I forgot that the like little cutscene thing was right there. So we're gonna head back in, and uh, this is the peacekeepers world. Anyways, guys, as I was saying, I started a separate save file, and what I did was I went through all three games, Spyro one, two, and three, and one hundred percent of all of them. Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Okay, so there we go. We talked to Titan. Now we can go on. But as I was saying, um, I went to the uh, other three games and 100% at all three of them just because of the fact so I would, would know where everything would be at when I would play this game and when I move on to Spyro 2 and 3. So hopefully I don't get too lost and I don't have to cut out a bunch of stuff here. Um, so yeah, here's the Peacekeeper's Land, which is probably one of my favorites just because of like the dry, like sandy, like desert kind of feel to it. And there's a lot of really cool secrets coming up. Um, there's some like secret hidden levels and stuff. So yeah, uh, let's get these gems real quick. And one of the skill points was to scare the Norks in the tents. So there we go. We have the skill point acquired. And of course, we gotta burn these tents down to get those last couple gems in order to get the 100% completion. Now we're gonna head over here uh, to these uh, chests over here. And I'm just gonna kinda look around. Like I said, this world looks beautiful. I mean, this whole entire game just looks like freaking gorgeous. So I really love the look of this game and how well everything looks uh, within this first game. So, I'm kinda. As I'm kind of looking around here, I'm just trying to get all the gems first, and then I'm going to worry about uh, going through the levels. Um, I don't know how many I'm going to do. I think I'm going to try and do two for now, and then after that, um, we'll go in and see what, see how much time I have left. And uh, I'm going to start trying to make these episodes a bit longer. Uh, that's why this one's going to be longer, around 30 minutes or so. Uh, just because of how long this game is going to start being, I'm going to try and like complete like 75% or so of the levels in each world now in one part. Um, because if I did like the whole world in one episode, it would be a while. It would probably probably be like an hour or so. Which, I mean, it would be fine, but I don't know. I feel like that would be too long. I feel like 35 minutes, 40 minutes is a good length. Uh, so yeah. So, as you can see, we can light that cannon, which is really cool. And we're going to get these last couple gems under these tents. And let's see what we have over here. Oh, there's a dragon right there. So, this is Magnus. Hey, Spyro. Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. So there we go, we just freed Magnus. Now we're gonna head around. Just gonna take a general look. Um, I see another like chest over here that you have to use like specifically this cannon for. So we're gonna launch that and then go ahead and get those gems over here. Um, yeah, so th there we go. Uh, now we're gonna head over to this platform and get these last couple gems over this area. And once again, I just love the scenery of this level. Like, the purple, like, lava-looking thing looks beautiful. And uh, this is what I was talking about earlier by, like, a hidden level. Um, this is the Ice Cavern one, which we'll probably do in the next part when we finish up this world. Uh, it probably won't be this part for sure. Um, there's not, like, too much else to really say about this world. I mean, it's gorgeous. I just love the, like, the desert feel and all that. And I love like ice cavern was kind of hidden like that 
So, uh, yeah, now we're just gonna get those gems over there, get those out of the chest, and, uh, get these over here by this cactus, which, yeah, um, just kind of looking around here, trying to find some levels. I think I'm close to, to 400 gems, so, let me try and make it, yes, I've fallen off that platform. Oh, gosh, and here's the flying level. Um, I'll probably do that during this episode just to get it done and over with because I hate the flying levels so much. So, uh, yeah. And now we're going to fly over here. And there's a couple green ones, and, but I see where the egg is back here. So, oh, look at that. First try for the egg, which is very awesome. So, we're going to get those gems back here and save this dragon. And I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. So there we have it. All dragons found. So we're going to head over here now. And <laughs> fall in the freaking lava, of course. Um, go back over here and just kind of charge around. I don't... Yeah, there's those last few gems over here. And then there's some right at the beginning. And I forgot about this little hidden area off this... Like this little cliff right here that we can jump off of and glide into this little area. And look at all the gems in here. Oh my gosh. We got like five chests. And we got the key. So we know we're going to get some good amount of gems in here. There we go. So quite a bit of gems in that little area. Which is very nice of course. Uh, definitely working our way towards 100%, 100% completing uh, this realm. Uh, so... Just a couple more things here. Um, just six more gems, I believe, in this area. Uh, just trying to find where those are at. So let's see where those are at. Uh, that's why I'm kind of just charging around, just trying to see where everything's at here. And uh, let's see. Come over here, none over there. Um, where are they at? I don't remember where they're at, actually. Were they up by the night flight area? Oh, no, there's those six on that. There we go. So those, there are the rest of the gems. And that gives us 100% completion for this level. Now we're going to just head over and try and find, like, the first level that we're going to do. Um, let's just see and look around here. Let's do, uh, let's do Cliff Town first. That sounds pretty interesting. Alrighty guys, so here we are in Clifftown. So this one's pretty cool because it's it's again it goes with that like desert kind of theme. I like these guys because they're like a like a really cool like cowboy kind of thing, which is pretty nice. And uh, there's some secrets within this level that I really enjoy as well, such as like uh, flaming that pot on fire gives you like extra gems, which is very nice as always. Um, and then there's these big like I don't know I always think she's like a lunch lady kind of thing I don't even know what exactly she is to be exact so uh, I see this little area up here I'm gonna go ahead and get those gems and then uh, there's nothing else around so we're gonna head back to the beginning and uh, get these ones right in front of this like uh, really neat little building and like a lot of the architecture in this level looks really cool as well and just the sandiness of this whole entire realm in general is just like really cool. So, just looking around and everything, uh, let's go ahead and check the guidebook. Um, so, 400 gems, three dragons, and one egg. So, let's uh, get these cowboy guys up here, get the gems out of them, and let's go ahead and uh, look around. Oh, yeah, and the, the dragon egg is over here. I completely forgot about that, not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, so get that. And then we're going to head over and probably save that one dragon that's over here. Just kind of checking out the areas and things. So let's see who this is. This is Halvor. Oh, I forgot I skipped over that one. Um, I'll try not to do that again so you guys can actually see um, the actual animations and stuff of the dragons. 
So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of continue exploring and like looking around and everything. Once again, this area looks freaking beautiful. I love it so much. And uh, get this chest smashed open that's right over here. Pretty cool. And uh, get these gems and then we're gonna head up here on these higher platforms and uh, start making our way up towards the top of this structure. So get this and get the secret gem out of the pot. And then, uh, I don't think there's any skill points during this level. Um, another thing about that, too, I think I'm going to start uh, saving these skill points uh, for the very end. Because basically what I did when I 100% uh, completed Spyro 2, you unlock the, uh, the Super Flame ability. So, it was so much easier to use that and um, go in and get all the trophies and the rest of the skill points and everything. It just made things a lot easier just because of the fact like um, gulp is the hardest boss probably in the entire trilogy and the fact that i um beat him on my first try with that super flame ab ability like really helps a lot so i'll definitely start saving the skill points for like the very last episode before i move on to the next level hey what's on the other side of that river why don't you glide there and find out so I misspoke. I didn't mean level there. I meant uh, I would complete these all these skill points at the end of the like. For example, before I move on to Spyro 2, um, I would do an episode at the end of Spyro 1 where I get all the skill points and everything. So I would just kind of repeat that for all the other games. For example, after Spyro 2, um, before I move on to 3, I would um, do the skill points for Spyro 2. So that way I'm getting the skill points done. And they would be a heck of a lot easier than me, like, doing them as I go. And it's just one less thing to worry about. And that way I can, like, focus on all the gems and all the dragons and the uh, the eggs and everything. So, I'm going to make our way towards this platform. And there's this really cool mechanic I like, too. That little firework thing right there. And uh, get these chests open. And, uh, yeah, check these things out over here. And um, I think there's maybe like a secret area. Or no. Yeah, there is a secret area somewhere. But I have to glide to it if I remember right. So we're going to hit that gem right there. And then, uh, yeah. So we're going to charge our way back to where we were just at. Up at that high point. Up against the platforms. And swoop around and get these last three green gems over here. And I think that's it for this kind of like biggish platformy ish I know that's not really a word kind of structure over here um, I'm pretty sure that's all the gems so we're gonna use this little teleport th I don't know what that thing is called uh, leave a comment down below if you guys know what that's called and we are going to attempt to do this jump and uh, not yet because I uh, want to go here first and oh no I forgot I screwed this up yeah so I died there, obviously. So I'm not supposed to go that way. And I'm supposed to glide from there. Which I screwed up the first time I played the game. Which was on my other save file. I screwed that up as well. So we're going to go ahead and get these gems over here. And then now we start to encounter the villainous vultures. Which are very interesting. So for these guys, like you see, uh, I have to jump up and then flame them. Which is kind of a cool mechanic. Just kind of something different. So do that and do that. And then next we're going to go ahead and get that green gem. And uh, get this vulture right here. Bam. There we go. Uh, get this green gem over here. And then there's one back here that uh, we almost missed. Luckily we didn't because then I would spend a long, long time trying to find that last gem. So yeah. Uh, I see a dragon up there. So we're going to head towards that in a second. Uh, let's get these last couple gems here. That last one out of the vulture. These uh, small two in this small little area over here. And uh, this green one right here. So let's go ahead and get that, uh, that dragon rescue that is just right here. You've reached the highest point in Clifftown. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind over there. So there we go, another level with all the dragons found. So there's all the dragons. Um, there's a couple more areas I have left of gems, such as these chests up here. 
and uh, let's get those. Those are both, ooh, both 10, which is very cool. Um, float over, or not float, glide over here, get these gems, and then trying to find where the secret area is at. I'm, I think it's up here, and then we can turn around and go on this edge. And if you guys don't know this, there's this little back area behind this main building where you first enter in. And it's kind of hard to see because there's like a wall there that I just hit. But if you glide around it and kind of move a little to the left and glide, you can access a ton of gems back here. There's a bunch of red ones. There's that uh, 25, which I believe that 25 one is the first 25 gem you get in this game, which is really, really cool. Always a pleasure to see those purple... 25 gems and just trying to figure out yeah see I missed a uh, chest back there which isn't very good I mean luckily I got it so I can't remember where the last gems are at so oh yeah it's up here so as you guys can see I cut uh, towards it now it's funny because since I died uh, this firework thing had to reset so that's why I have to do it again uh, but Holy crap, there are a lot of gems in there. So we're going to fly back up and uh, make our way towards those last few gems. And that should be it. Let's see. And no, we're missing 10. So let's see where those are at because I don't remember. Um, so let's check it out over here. Kind of give us some more time. And there they are. There's a little hidden area back here I completely forgot about. There is 400 out of 400 gems and 100% level complete. So there we go. There's that level completely done. All right. So let's, as the uh, the Norks like try and like collapse against me because I'm like right at the gate. Um, let's see what else we have during here. Um, I think I might do the flight level. And go ahead and get that out of the way, just because that's going to be annoying to deal with. And, uh, yeah. So, try and dodge these can cannons and everything. So, let's head over here and uh, just make our way towards that flying level. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get this done and out of the way, just because it's probably going to be frustrating. Um, I'm just trying to find it. I forgot I got to jump on that platform and then go straight forward. So without further ado, let's do uh, night flight. So here we are in night flight. Now, if you guys don't know, I absolutely cannot stand the flying levels. I don't think this one's too hard. Um, the ones that start getting really hard are, hard are the ones in like the next world or so. The hardest part of this one is navigating these chests. These chests are awful. Just because you have to really bob and weave, and you guys can see I, I have already screwed up so bad. Uh, just because of the fact I hit that platform and I, I stopped. So, probably not going to get it this try. But, I mean, there's still a good chance we can get it this try. Eh, never mind. That, ki that killed the run. Nope, that wasn't it. Uh, we're still going to finish up this try, though, and, and see what we can do here. Um, get these arches down here. And then after that, I think there's lanterns, and then that's it of this uh, level. So let's get these arches, and I'm probably not going to be able to finish this level because, I yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to finish this. Just because of the fact there's like five seconds left. Well, there was five seconds left, and now there's, yeah, there's nothing left. Alrighty, guys, so let's try this again. Uh, this is attempt number two. Uh, hopefully we get it this time. We're making good progress with the rings and everything. It's just these freaking chests that I always uh, screw up. They're so annoying just because of the way that they're placed. Like right after that one you have to like swerve right up. And I always miss that top one there. But luckily I got it that time. So we're going to try and get the rest of these chests. Hopefully crossing our fingers this will be the, the run. Um, this was the same route I used on my 100% like playthrough and everything. So... I should be good. I think the last time I beat this level and I got everything done, I had like 0.4 seconds left. So, yeah, this one's close. Especially the route I take is going to be very, very close to the end of the timer. So, we haven't missed anything yet, uh, which is very good. Hopefully, we can manage to get all these lanterns in one go without screwing up or anything. So, get this lantern up here. 
And now these ones through here are going to be like very, very tricky to kind of navigate through and hit. And just because I always typically miss that. And yeah, there's that one. And then there's one more. Oh, uh, let's up. Oh, oh, thank God. 0.2 seconds left, guys. That was close. That was really, really, really close. Alrighty guys, so luckily we completed night flight on our second try, thank god, because I can't stand the flying levels. There's one coming up, I think it's like the next world or the world after that, it's called Wild Flight. Hands down the worst one in the franchise. But we're going to try and do maybe one more level. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do one more level and uh, just kind of getting these guys right here. Um, I might go and feed Sparks. I don't know. It just depends. But we're going to head into uh, to Dry Canyon. So, yeah, let's do it. Alrighty, guys. So, here we are in Dry Canyon. Now, I think this is going to be probably the last level I do for uh, this episode. And then we're definitely going to finish off the the uh, this world, the uh, Peacemaker's world, or whatever it's called, uh, during the next episode. So, uh, the... The villains, or not the villains, the enemies for this level are the guys with the, like, the, the, the cannon thingies. So, uh, we're gonna go, I don't know why I fell straight into that there, but, uh, we're gonna go for them first. And then there's also the vultures, like there were in the, uh, the cliff town level. So, we're gonna get to those guys eventually, but first we gotta get to the, um, the guys with the shields. And I think there's an egg somewhere around here. Maybe the shortcut. Uh, yeah, there he is. So I'm going to go ahead and get these gems first. And then uh, charge through these. And get those gems. And then we're, gonna, we're going to torch that egg guy. Just like that. Successful attempt completed. Got another dragon egg to add to our collection. Which is, of course, very nice. So now we're going to head around and just kind of look around here. And, um, like I said, just kind of look around and explore the area. Feed Sparks a bit, just because he's low on health there. So, yeah, we're going to head and uh, go forward. And uh, there's a dragon up there. Um, so, let me get this guy first, and then we'll check out this dragon. This is Conan. What? Huh? Oh. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Alrighty guys, so there we uh, we freed Conan there, which is very cool, as always. Um, let's try and navigate past this fella right here, and then there's these there's these really cool steps right here we can look look at and jump across. And uh, there's another guy up here, and then there's this secret area over here to glide to, but we're gonna save that for later because we're gonna come back down and uh, take out these vultures. And get the gems that are over in this area. And then here's like... This guy's like the... Not the ringmaster, but like the leader of the vultures or something. I don't know what the heck is with this guy. We're going to take him out anyway. And we are going to continue on. And in the peripheral vision... I see another dragon up here. So, uh... Let's get this vulture first. And uh, kind of explore through here. I'll probably come back to that dragon here in a second. And get the rest of this uh, these gems in this main area before we go back to that dragon. And, uh, yeah. There's a couple more of the cannon guys left. A bunch of chests back here and everything. Avoid his uh, attacks. And then uh, go ahead and fly over here. Get this gem. Which is a blue gem, which is very cool, as always. Always nice to get uh, new gems and everything unlocked. So, smash these crates over here. And, uh trying to find that dragon where was he at oh yeah there he is so we're gonna head back around and uh, check the guidebook real quick and uh, see how many gems we have and there's two dragons up there there's one up there that was up by my left but we're gonna do this one first which is uh, Boris Dry Canyon rewards good gliders you are a good glider hey eh, Spyro I was born to glide so there we go check that out guys spyro was uh born to glide now there's that little air oh my gosh i thought i would have hit that little like pole like that flag looking thing and uh 
We're going to fly in this little area down here. Check this area out. There's another one of those cannon guys back there. And then if I remember this right, to get to the other dragon, we have to jump off that, and bam, there we go. Unfortunately, slam our heads into the platform, but we saved the dragon, which is Maximus. Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. I'll check him out. He's a uh, savage, which is pretty funny. Uh, he's going to roast those birds and eat them for dinner later, I guess. So, we're gonna, uh, we find the, found the key. So, we're going to check out the area and see if we can find a chest that is locked. Um, I don't remember where it's at. I think it's like at another point where you have to glide. And I, unfortunately, of course... I fail. I'm falling the, the purple lava as always. But we're going to glide over here to this area we were at before. And there are a bunch of gems down here that we are going to get. So we're going to get those and then continue on. And I think there's the cannon guys like over here somewhere. Oh no, there's the, like the vulture guy over there. And then there's the cannon guys over here which we will get in a second once the area is clear. Uh, there we go. We can get that guy. Now get these vultures out of the way and get this guy out of the way and bam so there we go and then there is another dragon in here which is Eivor. Is that you Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke we've known uh, you've known uh, I forget. So there we go guys, all dragons have been found. Now we're just going to hunt around for that uh, for that uh, crate with the uh, the lock on it to use our key. Uh, we're going to get these vultures first out of the way and one last cannon guy. This level I believe is almost over. There's just like about a hundred or so more. Yeah, there's like 103 gems left. So yeah, we can go ahead and get those. Um, just kind of run around here, get these guys again to get the gems out of them before we head back to the area we were at. And we're going to turn around, we're going to go forward, and try and figure out how to get to a couple of these platforms here on my uh, right side. Those ones up there that are uh, right in front of me. But, oh, here we go. Some trouble over here with some vultures and another uh, guy. So get these gems down here. And then we're going to head up and... I think we're going to be able to make it to a certain platform that has that locked chest on it, which is very cool. So we can hopefully get the rest of the gems inside of this level. Check the guidebook real quick. And uh, yeah, just missing a few gems, nothing major. Um, so we're going to fly over here, and I miss, of course. So I got to turn around and start the whole thing over again because I am a bad glider within this game. Um, but yeah, we made it that time, and we're going to shoot the fireworks, which is very cool. Get those chests out of the way, and uh, jump up here. There's just a few more things left to get, about 50 more gems, actually 49 to be exact. Uh, another firework thing up there, and then there is that platform I was talking about. That platform back there should have the rest of the gems, so we are, are of course, going to make our way to it. And, uh, yeah, so there's five, there's another five, and then, uh, what's this? This is two, two, and then two more sets of two, and then hopefully uh, this is going to be the end of this level, which it's not. There's three more gems I'm missing somewhere. I'm not sure where I'm missing them at. So we're going to go and do the... Oh, there they are. They're on that platform right there, which uh, I, of course, miss because, it once again, bad glider. Guilty as charged. But we're going to go back up and go, go around and everything. This gives us another opportunity to check out these amazing levels, and that should be it. There is the 400 out of 400 gems, 100% level complete. And, uh, yeah, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully you guys like this new format with the microphone. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you do like this content, smash that subscribe button and notification bell and hit that like button. As always, stay cool, stay fresh, and stay gaming.